Welcome back to Sawtooth Tactical. Quick Friday video because I'm actually driving to my brother's wedding right now in Northern Idaho. But I get this question asked of me every once in a while when people see my gun collection or even comments from YouTube. Why do I always use the Streamlight TLR1 HL weapon mounted light on all of my handguns? And so I figured I'd make a quick video to answer that question because there are reasons. So make sure you're subscribed and I'll tell you what those reasons are. So this was the very first pistol that I put a streamlight on. Not the first pistol that I had that I put a light on, but I had a light on a different pistol. I put it on this one. It was a cheap light that I got off Amazon before I knew any better. And um, <laughs> there's a reason I don't use it anymore. Uh, for one, the way that it actuated was it really tactically it made no sense because you'd have to push it in and then push it back from the other side to turn it off. And then the next time you turned it on, it would be in strobe mode. No matter what, there's nothing you could do about that. But that was me before I learned anything about firearms and accessories and trying to save a buck. And what I realized is that you can save a few bucks but you could do it and also get something very high quality that's going to work the way you want it to. Enter the Streamlight TLR1 HL. This is one of the most popular weapon mounted lights that there is for handguns. I would say that the other most popular one is the Surefire X300 series. And those are awesome lights. But my reason number one for the Streamlight kind of goes back to that original point. Surefire X300 costs about twice what a TLR1 HL does. They're both full-size pistol lights, but this one's about half the price. So is it only half as good? I don't think so. I've used Surefire lights. They're fantastic. They're great lights. They've got the turbo and the ultra now. Um, I'm not quite sure that you need that much candela on a pistol light. But more lumens, more candela is always good. In my opinion, there is no such thing as too much light coming out of your light. The whole point is, is to be so that you can positively identify targets. And so if your light lights everything up as if it's daytime, which this does do, then it's doing its job. I've heard people lots of times talk about, oh, well, if you shine it at a white wall, then, you know, it's going to blind you. Well, I've never had that be a problem. And I have, you know, used all these lights inside my home quite a bit. No, I've not shot rounds inside my home. But of course, I test and vet my equipment. So when I say that I use this light on pretty much all of my pistols, I do mean it. I put one on my full size M&P 2.0. Then I got an FDE one for my Gucci Glock on a budget build, the Palmetto State Armory Dagger. And of course, when I got my Springfield Prodigy, again, I got a TLR1 HL. Now I do think that the Surefire X300 looks amazing on 2011 style guns, especially on this Prodigy. It, it really is a good look, and actually I have found that you do have more holster choices with the X300, at least for the Prodigy. But that brings me to reason number two, holster choices. Being that this is probably the second most popular pistol light that there is, you can find a holster for just about any popular pistol with this light that'll work. And so that is really nice. And in fact, I even have a holster that fits the M&P 2.0 and the Palmetto State Armory Dagger, both of them perfectly has retention because it works on the light. So you can see here what I'm talking about. This holster, not that one actually, this holster is made for this M&P 2.0 with the stream light. One thing that I found, which is kind of nice, is after I built this dagger out, it also fits that and the retention works and it works about perfectly for it. So that is very cool. I also found a holster for my Prodigy with the same light, works great. And that is an important consideration 
because once you start adding things like lights, red dots, suppressor height, sights, things like that, it can become harder to find holsters that'll work for whatever gun you may have. And so, in my opinion, you do want to get a light that is a popular one that holster manufacturers make holsters for. And the Streamlight does do that. So now, what are the other reasons that I use this light? Well, for one, it does have a very high output. It doesn't have quite the candela of the Surefire, but it's got a thousand lumens and it's got very decent candela for anything that I feel like I need a pistol light to be able to positively identify. And so I'm gonna show that right now. So here we have my Springfield Prodigy. I'm gonna show you guys what this light looks like. It is extremely bright. If I point this up in my ceiling, it's like the lights are on in this room. This light, it's very, very powerful. So that was just a little showing of what kind of output you do get out of this stream light. It's very, very good. Um, if you're outside, which right now it's not dark enough outside to show you quite yet, but I mean, you can light something up blocks away and see it very clearly, which is important. So as far as what a weapon mount of light should do, this does that very well. Now, what else do I like about it? I really, really like the way that you actuate it. It, um, like I said, I have used the Surefire lights, but I like this paddle system better. It's easier, it's ambidextrous, so you can use your support hand thumb or your trigger finger. Depending how you're running your light, you have your constant on or your momentary, and there are different modes you can actually program it. So when it comes to you, um, if you click your momentary twice, it goes into strobe mode. Well, I have all of mine programmed to not do strobe mode anymore. And I know some people like the strobe mode. You know, you can use it to disorient, you know, someone breaking into your home or something like that. But what I didn't like about it is that if I'm going off and on with my light, even slightly rapidly, it would start strobing. And I just like to have more control over when my light is on and when it is off. And this video isn't going to be about tactics and how you use a weapon mounted light, but I do like to have that control over it. So I program the strobe mode out so that it doesn't have that the way they're set up right now. But if you want it to strobe, it will absolutely do that. The other thing I like is it is kind of big, kind of heavy. Now that, that sounds like maybe a bad thing, right? Well, all three of these are pretty much full size pistols. Four and a quarter inch barrel, 17 round capacity. Four and a quarter inch barrel, 20 round capacity. And this one, actually, even though it's Glock 19 size, it's got a four and a half inch barrel with the threaded barrel. 15 round capacity, but of course it's a Glock. You can put as big a mags as you want in it. But I like the added weight on the end of my gun, especially on this Prodigy, well on all of them, but it does extra weight out at the muzzle end does help keep muzzle rise down and so it kind of helps to control your recoil a little bit now you still have to have good technique obviously but that does help it can also be used as a standoff device so some automatic pistols if you push the slide out of battery the pistol won't fire well if you had someone attacking you and you had to push your gun into them well with this light it sticks out further than the slide on any of these guns and so you can't actually push your pistol and push your slide out of battery so your gun would work in that situation which is a good thing as well so why do I choose the TLR 1HL from Streamlight well Streamlight is a very well known and respected weapon mounted light manufacturer and other lights they make great lights <laughs> um, there are other very more high-end light manufacturers. Um, when it comes to pistol lights specifically, I would say Surefire, again, with the X300 is the most popular one. And it's an awesome light, believe me. But when you start getting a bunch of them, I mean, three Surefire X300s would be $1,000 worth of lights on these pistols right here. So when you can get a light that in my opinion, does everything that I need it to do for half the price of a Surefire X300, to me, that is hard to beat. 
And so that is what I wanted this video to be about. I'm already going longer than I wanted to because I need to pack and go to my brother's wedding. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. Please let me know down in the comments what weapon mounted lights you use. Give me a like if you like this, share it. And from Sawtooth Tactical, stay strapped or get clapped.